kitty cats. So I do layer up my scents. Deliciousness. Welcome to today's video. I've got neutral dresses to show you. Um, as you can see here, I've got some older dresses and then I've also got some brand new ones that have arrived this week. So I'm so excited to show you. Uh, the very first one I want to show you is my absolute favorite dress, which is this one here. My most favorite casual to dressy dress. Uh, for this one here, I can dress it up with some heels or I can wear it out to the shops, going shopping with sneakers on. Um, it's just a great dress. This I got from Revolve. Um, I'll put a photo of it here. Now it is an expensive dress, but I've worn this so often. As you can see, it's got these gorgeous little press studs and it's so flattering on any little, on any tummy. Um, I just love this dress and it seems to always be in stock. So I think it's one of their classic um, dresses. So that's the first one I wanted to show you. I do love denim dresses. I just think that they're the most, they're just the most easiest dresses to wear that you can dress up or dress down. Um, and I have a couple to show you. So this one here, I just love, it looks great with a little belt. And this one here I got from General Pants. Um, I'll put some footage of it here of me wearing it. Kitty cats! <laughs> This dress here is from ASOS. Um, I don't think it's in stock anymore, but I will link something similar down below for you. But this is called a denim jacket dress. And I just love this. It's great with the long sleeves, so you can wear it for winter or on a cold night. It's just, I've got so much wear out of it. I just wanted to show you the different styles that I have. Okay, so the next style of dress, which I have quite a few of them, exact same style these dresses are from hello molly um i will link them down below and this is a picture here of them just here but i love these dresses and i do tend to buy them at least each summer um they're so comfortable and again it, the little tie knot here just sort of hides any little mummy tummy they're just super flattering easy to wear i've worn them to parties i've worn them out shopping i've worn them all over to the beach whatever like they're just so good but they do come in lots of different colors in each season hello molly brings out different um different colors so these are the colors that i've purchased so i've got a gray one the classic black one and then for some colors i've got a beautiful blush pink and a, and a sage green as well but i just love them every time i wear them i get compliments and they're the type of dress that just hides any sins you know like they cover your arms and then they cinch in the waist they cinch in your waist but also hide your tummy love these dresses this is what they look like on here So next up, I've got a few Zara dresses for you. Now this one is absolutely gorgeous. This is actually in the new collection and the new stuff that's at Zara at the moment. Now I did buy this so I could wear it a few different ways. It could, it could be a great cover up over your swimmers. Um, you could even have it open as a jacket with some nice jeans or a little dress underneath. Um, or you could even have it just as like a little slip underneath and then have it just as an embroidery dress. But it's absolutely gorgeous. I think it's that broadery embroidery anglaise I think that's how you say it um, but this one here was $69.95 and that's at Zara now I'll link it down below for you and this is what it looks like on Now this beautiful shirt dress also is from Zara as well and it's a brand new one that is out at the moment. It does also come in a pink. I do have a lot of bright coloured dresses so I really wanted to get some more neutral styles. So I think a classic white shirt dress never goes out of style. 
This one here is $69.95 and um, it, it's just so pretty. It's got that shirt style and it's only button to here and then it sort of kicks out with a little A-line. I really think this is cute. This is what it looks like on. Um, there's another website that I really love and it's called Shopo. They've got amazing stock and I just love them. The pricing isn't too bad either. Um, I did pick up a couple of dresses from them recently as well. So I got this gorgeous little dress. As you can tell, I definitely love shirt dresses. They're just my favorite style. Um, and this one here is called the Siri dress. I will show a picture of it just here, how much it is. But I just love that it's got the, it's got covered buttons and it cinches in the waist and I really love that you can just put on any belt and that would change up, and that would change up the look of it. It also has its own little belt as well so you can just tie that up if you like or it's just got the belt loop so you can um, put in any belt that you like. Again a classic dress that I will get many many years of wear from. <laughs> Also a show po dress, a new one as well. I'm a bit of a polka dot fan. I do like if I'm going to, if I'm not doing like a classic neutral, um, I do like floral um, as well, which I'll show you some of those coming up in spring. Um, but for this, I do love a little bit of polka dot just to change up the black a little bit. This dress has got it cinches in your waist with this little piece here, and I love that it's got the little frill on the bottom and just a, a slightly puffed sleeve, not too crazy. <laughs> but I'll show you what this one looks like on here. So I did pick up a new dress with one of my returns um, from Dish. So this is a linen, another linen shirt dress, but it is 100% linen as you can see here. It is $129 and part of their new collection. Um, they do have a white dress in this as well and I really like the style of this. As you can tell, it definitely fits in with my vibe. <laughs> I just wanted to get this style in a really lovely linen and I think I'll get so much wear out of this. And this is what it looks like on. I actually was sucked in to buy from Instagram. Um, it is called SJ Collections and I did get it in the two versions just because I thought it looked so beautiful and again another classic style of a black little black dress. So let me show you this one first. So it is this is buttoned all the way around so it goes all the way around and across the back as well and you can you can undo the, these buttons up to however much of a split that you would like to have. Um, I would only have it <laughs> maybe one or two, uh, but I just think again, it's that beautiful classic style and that it kicks out with the A-line there and it just looks so lovely on. And then you can also get the longer version of it as well. For me, if it's a longer dress, I do like a split. I just feel like it's more flattering on my body shape. Um, but if you don't want to have a split, you can have it done up all the way or you can undo it to, you know, a little bit up here. This one has the buttons on the sleeves as well. It's just a very classy, beautiful little black dress. And this is what it looks like here. There's a brand, Australian brand called Mossman, and I really do love it. It is on the pricier side, but they do have beautiful quality clothes. 
Um, this one is, I do believe, sold out. I will search it for you, but I just wanted to show you more the style of it because there are many, many dukes of this dress. Um, so it does have this beautiful, um, what's that called? It does have this beautiful sort of smocking that pulls in your waist. It looks absolutely gorgeous on. I wore it for around my birthday, so I will show you some footage of me in the city um, wearing this one. But I just love it, and there are, like I said, I will link definitely. If I can't find this one in stock somewhere, I will link something that's very similar down the below for you. But I just wanted to show you as a style. Um, it's just really, really flattering and suits all body shapes. <laughs> Following up with another Mossman dress, which you can tell I'm a little bit obsessed with them as well. Um, this, this dress I also wore for my birthday, at a, for a birthday party. Um, but this one is a different style. It has just the pleats that holds it in, and I really love wearing a nice belt to, um, to cinch in the waist as well. But you can wear it without a belt. Um, and these types of dresses, again, you can wear with heels, flats, sandals, sneakers. They're just classic dresses you can dress up or dress down and wear them all over the place. <laughs> I will show you some footage of that here. Um, some of the footage of me wearing these will be at, at different times so just because otherwise it takes me forever to film trying them on I will just film um, I will just film some of the dresses that I haven't worn before so you'll see that new and the rest you'll see when I'm wearing it out in case you see me out and about thinking I'm not in lockdown but these are actually times when we were away on holidays and, we were, and I wore them out. So a very exciting thing happened through the week um, when I put up a, when I put up a reel um, from my vi my previous video, um, and I was showing you different things, and I was showing you the Dose and Co collagen and protein stuff that I take in my coffee. So I'd made a reel for Instagram, and um, I can't believe it. I woke up the other morning, and Chloe Kardashian had liked my reel. I have loved the Kardashians from the very moment that they started. I, um, anyone that knows me, how obsessed I am with them. Uh, so it was a really massive moment. I didn't believe it at all when I saw it. I went in and checked. I'm like, it has to be a prank. And then it, like, I clicked on her face, and it went to she had like 175 million followers. And I was like, it's Khloe Kardashian. It's really her. Like, holy hell. <laughs> So um, yes, my life was made last week. Just to think that's what I mean, this famous woman that is so busy and I'm sure has, you know, so many things on a plate to take the time out to like a little Australian mum, very unknown mum <laughs> um, in Australia who, um, you know, had just, all it was like literally two seconds of me just holding it up like that. And she liked it, which was just so lovely and really gave me that boost that I needed. You know, I still have moments of like, ah, do I keep going with this YouTube thing? And um, I do love it and it is my passion. So I am gonna keep going with it. And that little boost of just her liking it really gave me that, um, that confidence to keep going. So very exciting time. Um, okay, so I just wanted to very quickly um, reply to one of my lovely new followers and her name's Mars. Um, look, I just love our comment section so much and I'm so grateful for all the people that take the time to make a little comment and to chat away with me. You guys absolutely make my life. I love you guys. And Mars actually asked um, about perfume. She said that she's obsessed with fragrance and wanted to know my top five fragrances. Um, I love perfumes too, but I I am one of those people that do stick to the same type of thing. I think through each decade, I went through a time where I was looking for my signature scent. And I think actually these five here are um, a representation of that. Um, so I'm going to show you from five down to my number one. Okay, so 
many years ago I fell in love with this perfume and I really still do love it for autumn winter I just love the cinnamony smell to it and I'm not the best of ex at explaining things but I'm sure some of these you're gonna know because they're just classics so this is my number five so this is obsession by Calvin Klein I hope you can see that there it um it does sort of have a real sort of masculine scent to it but it smells beautiful it's very cinnamony and my favorite scents is cinnamon vanilla definitely um and then sort of like with a hint of sweet but then that sandalwoody um sort of depth to it so this one I really love, but I don't tend to wear it at all in summer or when or spring or summer. I feel like it's too, it's just such a beautiful winter scent. Oh, it smells so good. Number five, Obsession by Calvin Klein. And then I would say, this is probably, I love this bottle. This is C by Giorgio Armani. And when you shake up this bottle, you can see, look at that, isn't that gorgeous? I think that's what sucked me into buying this one. <laughs> So it's got these sort of gold reflex in the bottom of it, but oh, it's just so beautiful. Oh, you can almost see my manky nails at the moment. Um, yeah, isn't that gorgeous? I just love that. So that is C, it was like a Christmas edition one, I think, but I, I, I think they, you might be able to get this all the time now. I'm not quite sure. I bought this a while ago and because it's a big one, it's lasted me forever. But this is really beautiful too. It's got that same kind of thing where it's got that hint of sweetness and then it's still got the more sort of depth to it. Like I'm sure you've all smelt this before. It is the classic C and um, I always get compliments when I wear this one, it's beautiful. Then I would say Black Opium is my number three. Um, this this is beautiful and again it's got the same sort of thing. It's got a real sort of sweet high note and then it's got the depths but it is really beautiful. I'm sure you've all smelt this before, but it is the Black Opium by Yves Saint Laurent. <laughs> and I love the bottle. Isn't that gorgeous with the glitter? So pretty. It looks so nice on your beauty counter too. This is my number two. This is definitely a very old scent that I probably, this is like my signature scent from my twenties, I would say, <laughs> but I still, still love it and I still stand by it. And whenever I wear it, people always ask me what I'm wearing. It smells really beautiful. And it's very vanillary, I would say. It's vanillary, but a fresh sort of vanillary. And that is the Anna Sui Dreams. I've even got myself a backup. I always buy about three at the time when I get it. Cause I'm always so scared it's just gonna disappear because it's so old and I'm not sure whether people even buy this anymore. <laughs> but I love it. It's one of my absolute favorites. Um, and I do feel like this is like my, one of my true signature scents. This is the teddy bear naughty um my kids are all homeschooling at the moment so they're all on zoom meetings but my husband's out there so hopefully he'll get him under control that's number two and the silly dreams <laughs> my absolute favorite my number one signature scent that i wear basically every single day and i would say that that is my true signature scent i love this it's the kayali vanilla 28 and this i get from sephora um you know the huda beauty um so if you know Huda Beauty, she's like one of the biggest beauty gurus of all time. Um, it's her sister, Mona's company. So this is gorgeous. I love this so much. It is my true scent, I would say. The only problem is though, I can't put this on my skin. Isn't that terrible? It actually gives me a rash, but I love the smell so much that I always, I spray it on my clothes. I can sort of spray it on my hair, um, but if I actually put it directly on my skin, I get a rash. <laughs> um, but I do have very sensitive skin, so I'm sure it wouldn't affect everyone like that. But this perfume is very expensive in the big bottle like this. Um, you get, I get it from Sephora and honestly, but it is expensive, but it lasts a really long time. I've probably had this bottle for maybe two years already. So, um, and I use it every single day and I even like to layer my scents as well. So I'll, I'll put this one together with a little spray of this. These two together, I really like just to sort of change things up. I'm, I am a true Aquarius where I'm a bit rebellious and I do, <laughs> I always mix things up or I just don't want to smell the same as anyone else. I like to be individual and independent and, um, um, I'm very much like that so so I do layer up my scents um, because I just want to smell different <laughs> that's my number one <laughs>
This week's book is The Power by Rhonda Byrne. If you enjoyed The Secret, then you will definitely enjoy this book. It has great, inspiring stories by wonderful people that have done amazing things. Um, I highly recommend this book. If you can tell, I have been on a bit of a self-help journey and um, all these books have really got me to a great place mentally. I hope you enjoy it. So the show that I've been a bit obsessed with this week is called Ginny and Georgia. I do believe I am a little bit late on the bandwagon, um, but it's a great show. I've really been enjoying it. It's about a single mum with a son and daughter and lots and lots of twists and turns. It's a great show. I've really been enjoying it. And if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. Ready, one, two, three. Cook Cook with our family. (laughs) <laughs> so for this week's um, cook with me I thought I would do something a little bit different um, as I've mentioned the last couple of weeks I've put on about probably about three kilos since I've been in lockdown as you know from watching all my videos I've been enjoying life I've been having lots of cheese and chocolate and all the good stuff and I think you really need that when you're going through you know lockdown and it's been quite stressful I'm so excited because it's only 17 days till spring yay <laughs> that's my favorite time of the year I love when it's, it's you can feel it already it's starting to get warm it's sunny outside I'll be laying outside um, by the pool each day in the morning just sort of getting my vitamin D and you can just feel it in the air how beautiful it is so I'm really excited but that has also given me the kick in the ass that I need um, to get back on the healthy train um, and get these three kilos off so um, if you've seen my videos previously you would know that I did do um, that I did equilution which is like a they just basically give you a meal plan Um, When I did it last year, I lost seven kilos and there's some photos here so you can see what I I achieved. (laughs) Um, So I really need to get my body back to where it was. Um, But I'm not going to stress too much about it. I really sort of a bit struggled with having to weigh myself every week and measure myself every week. As great as it is to give you that inspiration, it can be a little bit draining sometimes. (laughs) So I haven't weighed myself since I stopped doing Ecolution and all I'm really worried about is fitting in to my clothes and you know just getting my body back being a bit more tighter and, and feeling fit so I just thought I'd show you a really quick little what I eat in a day um, this is one of one of my favorite meal plans that I had um, over my time if you want to see all of them I'll link it down below which is the losing the quarantine kilos vlogs if you go if you skip to about halfway you'll see exactly what I ate for every meal um, I did only have a 1500 calorie meal plan and that's because I'd been in a car accident and hurt my back so I wasn't doing any exercise basically through my whole experience it did take a long time because I couldn't exercise but being 1500 calories basically anyone will lose weight doing that so if you want to get an idea you can go through those but I will um, do a little quick flash of what I'm going to eat this week and I'm, I'm personally going to get back on the healthy trains when I finally get out of lockdown, I'm going to feel good about myself and getting out in the sun and getting in our little sundresses and swimwear and all that sort of stuff. So um, in my experience, I need to get in and get it going straight away because it does take me quite a long time to lose weight as I have Hashimoto, which is a thyroid condition. And it does, um, it does really hinder my weight loss. So yeah I just thought I'd share this with you let me know if you're interested in in the weight loss side of things if you're not that's fine please let me know that as well otherwise I'll just um, I'm happy to still do my little sweet treats um, because at the end of the day with Ecolution you can have everything as long as you sort of calorie count at all you can basically eat whatever you want Um, and that's the beauty of it that's what I learned but I haven't been doing any calorie counting so that's where I've been in trouble (laughs) this is what I'm eating this week and I'll just go through it with you now. How good is my life when this is your breakfast? It's called the Lotus. I've got to remember what it's called. So, not Lotus, the Biscoff Yogurt Crumble Bowl, I do believe. I have to <laughs> probably double check that, but I'll have it in the description box. 
How delicious is this? So it's got the apple slices, we've got Biscoff spread and a biscuit, yummy muesli and vanilla yogurt. So good. Yeah. Snack one is watermelon. The lamb and feta salad. Yum. Ham rovitas. And here is the Thai drunken noodles. It's so good. Here are the ingredients that I used. I did change up the caramel sauce to chocolate sauce. And here it is, deliciousness. <laughs> So I'm attempting to make me dried oranges, lemons and limes for my cocktails. I'm going to cut them, cut them dry with some paper towel and now I'm popping them in there. And we'll just see how we go. So I'm thinking the limes must have more sugar in them possibly or I'm not sure but they've definitely dried which is really nice. The lemons look really good. I might just turn this off now and just keep them in the heat and um, I'm sure in about half an hour they'll be fully dry. Okay so please don't mind the noise in the background everyone in the whole street is working on their house at the moment because we're all in lockdown but today we have the drink of the week and I'm going to make a special kids edition because all the kids are at home as well well I don't know if everywhere but definitely in Sydney <laughs> um, so let's do the kids first dried oranges dried lemons and limes and then I've got some fresh oranges and some strawberries and I'm going to put these ones in the kids drinks in their cocktails so oh in their well, mocktail in their mocktails um, so I've just got two I've just got two little glasses with ice all right let's put it like this one for my little camera girl and also for my little man here. So we're gonna put some orange, fresh orange in. And we'll do fresh strawberry piece there. And fresh oranges. So it's just a little bit of a fruity cocktail. And we've got some soda water. What do you think? It looks nice. Yeah, it smells good, doesn't it? Yeah. So we've just got those. And we will come up with something special for the kids next week as well. I'm just waiting on a grocery delivery so I can do it. But this is a nice little simple yummy little cocktail and in the special glasses. You want to try it? Yeah. Sense you, honey. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah? Yeah. Very nice. Okay, so for the mums and dads <laughs> and the adults, <laughs> I'm going to make a lovely Italian. <laughs> that noise. <laughs> We're going to make a lovely Italian drink. So it is the Apparel Spritz. That's it there. And these are just beautiful as it, it's such a beautiful day and that you can feel the spring in the air, isn't it? So, so nice and warm. So these, this is what we drink in summer here all the time. So I thought I'd make you one to show you how to do it. So basically it says on the back here, <laughs> this is daddy do, isn't it? I think so, yeah. Um, so it says here, fill the glass with ice, combine Prosecco, which we have. This is my favorite Prosecco. It's the Zonen Prosecco Doc. Says. I really like this one. So we've got Prosecco, soda water, ice, and it says combine with Prosecco followed by equal parts apparel, this liqueur, and then you garnish with an orange slice. 
but because I got creative and I've got my little dried oranges, I'm going to use those. So I'm going to pop these in. They actually feel like little candied oranges, so they're really sweet. I'm going to pop that in. Hey, so I've got my little bougainvillea is finally sprouting. I'm really excited. So I have to open the champagne right near there. I think that's my husband making all that noise too. Okay. He's mowing the grass right oh now, my so. God. He's actually fixed up an old edger, that's what it is. So we're just gonna try and ignore that. Okay, so we've finally got the husband to stop for five minutes, so let's make this cocktail. <laughs> so we're gonna open the Prosecco. Yay! <laughs> and I'm just going to pour about a quarter of a glass of the apparel spritz and then it does say to do equal parts sparkling I'll just let those little bubbles go down and a little splash of soda Pop in a couple of these cute little lemons and limes in there. Here we go. Let's do the taste test. Yummy. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Definitely half half and some soda water and lots of ice. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching the video this week. Really appreciate it. We're gonna have a little cheese board and um, my husband's gonna get back to doing the lawn mowing. <laughs> uh, so please check out my Instagram as I'll have all the photos that my little photographer took. And, um, and so you can see close up photos of everything there. I've got an amazing H&M haul next week. It's actually so massive. It's gonna, I think gonna be a two parter. So um, H&M haul and we've got lots and lots more fun things to show you. But cheers guys, enjoy this beautiful weather and we look forward to seeing you next week. Bye. Bye. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Adios amigos. <laughs> There's a noisy man. <laughs> yes, you can go for it now. Come here. There he is. You like it out of cheese. Thank you. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> We've got like five chips in here. Can you hear it? Are you crying? Are you crying? Oh. Oh, can you hear Teddy? <clears throat> oh. <laughs> what was that? Um. Okay, so. Can you hear Teddy Bear being naughty boy? Barking. <laughs> I do a little chinny. Um, and every day, but in the. I've been laying outside. <laughs> I can't get my words out. <laughs> it can be a little bit more sexy. <laughs> do you want to run down and ask him just to stop for once, just for five minutes? Um, and I will put a picture of it. I'll put a picture of it just here. Oh, it's in my pop I'll put it. Where's the most space? That's this way. I'll put a little... Um, I always get it from... What's it called? Gorgeous. It's like a denim... Uh, it's from... Can I... Can I feel mine? Just wait. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stop it. Nah, you still have to drink it all now. It's mad. At least you like it. <laughs> you love Coke's on. We 
snake is today. <laughs> Are you able to help me? Yay! Oh my god. Join our family, please like and subscribe. <laughs> Join our waffles. One, two, three. Join, Join our family. family. Please, Please like and subscribe. subscribe. Thanks for watching.